Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, on this video, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, how to set up class tracking for payroll expenses by job. So this has to do with the job costing. On uh, last couple of videos, we talked about various uh, uh, setups, uh, starting with chart of accounts, item list setup, uh, then preference setup for uh, job cost and uh, uh, item track pitch expenses. And uh, uh, last one was payroll item list. So this one's going to be class tracking uh, for payroll expenses by job. All right, so I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks desktop. I'm using uh, Premier, uh, Premier version. So first of all, uh, if you have watched the our uh, previous videos, you will know how to set up uh, uh, class first. So in order to do that, just very straightforward. Edit preferences, and then you select accounting and company, and then you select class. So you got to select class. Uh, both uh, class tracking and prompt to sign classes. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to go to item uh, the the uh, class list right here. So in this video, uh, it's set up. Uh, uh, it's this way. Uh, it's job related. Uh, I mean the revenue and the labor costs and material costs. Some co subcontractor equipment rental, other job overhead and owners labor. So in order to set up lay, uh, the class track, we have to decide uh, how do you want to set up. You know, do you want to set up uh, 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 one for revenue and then for other, or uh, you just want to set up like a profit center. You know, let's say you have uh, one deals with the commercial business, the other one deals with the government business. Uh, you know, and say for example in real estate you have. Uh, uh, residential and the other one is uh, uh, you know the, the the company type okay so you have to decide how do you want to set up uh, your uh, uh, your uh, uh, your class tracking okay so once you do that it's basically all you have to do is just select new and then select the class name okay so so you have to focus on really focus on before you set up. You have to focus on you know, the 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 uh, uh, type of business you are in and how you want to track all the uh, costs that you want to see by uh, class. Okay. Uh, so once you do that, then you can set up. Uh, uh, you know that's pretty easy. Uh, and then then you'll see the reports uh, like this one. As you can see here, you know, uh, revenue related. So it's basically on this one, revenue, all the revenues uh, put that in one class and then the labor cost, the material cost, subcontract cost, equipment cost, and other job cost, right? So this is one way of doing it. And so you have to decide, you know, how do you want to do it, you know? Uh, if you are in, let's say, uh, uh, event, you know? Uh, so you want to do uh, like handling party stuff, you know. So how do you want to set up uh, uh, class? Uh, and you don't want to make this uh, too big, you know. So in this case, we have uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And you don't want to make this 50 or 70, something like that. Otherwise, you won't even it won't even fit on the uh, uh, report in here, right? Even this one, this one has a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? It won't even fit uh, in one page. So you don't want to make it too uh, lengthy, okay? Uh, so once you set up uh, uh, the uh, class track, class uh, create class name, okay? Uh, and uh, you know normally you don't want to set up if, if you want you can set up subclass but for the uh, for the payroll purpose you know you don't need it okay so once you do that when you uh, hire employee or uh, you know then you just uh, let's say for the example this one in here 
payroll information and this is where you select the uh, class by employee and once you do that whenever uh, you know this person uh, 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 fills out time sheet then it will automatically distribute the uh, the labor cost uh, to that class so it's very important don't leave this one blank and make sure to select uh, you know the class for that uh, employee uh, and then you will, it will automatically post it so for example in here paycheck see the class is here labor co labor cost you know so make sure this is it's it's already set up uh, uh, by employee then you don't have to worry about it then all you have to do is fill out the timesheet and then automatically post uh, payroll expenses uh, to that class work in here As you can see here, here's the uh, labor cost in here. Labor cost, job related, material cost, job related. You know, so this everything comes from your payroll for this line item. So, uh, you know, you just need to set up, and uh, uh, and if somebody is going to work on, uh, uh, you know, more than one class, then then you have to decide how do you want to handle that that's separate that's a separate video uh but basically you know one it, you know it's, it's, it comes directly from your uh, payroll setup okay so that's the focus of this video and next next video i'm going to be focus focusing on uh entering uh, uh time sheet and uh, uh entering uh, various material cost and uh, uh and see uh, uh how the job cost uh, will run in in QuickBooks. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, well, don't forget to uh, 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 subscribe to our YouTube channels. Right now, we have about 3,500 subscribers, and we are shooting for 10,000 in a couple of months. So please help us. Uh, YouTube.com for us last. DP controller again uh, youtube.com for us lad DP controller thank you come back again